as all of you are aware about this incident which unfortunate incident that happened in uh, Ahmedabad where the uh, plane crashed and the uh, all the passengers on board in the uh, airplane has died and as you have seen in the various videos that there is a very huge flame that came out of the uh, airplane in uh, and that flame is having a very high temperature because of that the uh, the, uh, the identification of the person is not possible and hence the uh, DNA examination is required and also this high temperature affect the uh, DNA present into the various part of the body. So uh, during the uh, post-mortem it is very essential that the right part of the body has been identified for the collection of the DNA sample. So for which the uh, forensic experts have also directed the, I mean assisted the uh, doctors from where this DNA samples should be collected and also they have uh, assisted the doctors in collecting the DNA samples from the relatives of the uh, this deceased persons and that samples has been submitted to the uh, forensic labs all the samples uh, that has been submitted to uh, FSLs uh, are has been and I mean processed uh, under uh, if you are under process and based on these uh, DNA process profiles has been obtained, but this process is very complex. I mean, very complex. It takes a lot of time, around 36 to 48 hours for the one sample. But as you, uh, this process has been completed batch wise, so I mean, number of samples can be done at a time, and uh, the all uh, the profile matching has started, and uh, the results are coming up, and uh, based on that result. Uh, doctors and the police agencies are in the process of handing over the uh, dead body of the deceased person to the their, their relatives and uh, we hope that this will be common i mean the, we are working 24 by 7 so this will be completed uh, as early as possible and we all are committed to uh, to to give this uh, this uh, process the utmost priority and the whole team of the uh, DNA expert at Gujarat Forensic Science Lab that is our, around 36 experts are deployed for this pers this particular per task. Also the similar uh, exercise has been going on in the National Forensic Science University. They also their experts are also working on that and we are working in I mean in, uh, in collaboration with I mean, co with the coordination in, in both the, both the uh, institute and we hope that this will be done very very fast. Thank you.